What's up, everybody? My name is Tatum Miller, the community pastor here at Slow City Church. We are on week four of Groups at Home. This week, we are talking about those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for Jesus said that they will be filled. Earlier this week, I was gifted a commentary called the New Testament in Color. It's a commentary that views the New Testament uh, through the lens of minority peoples and people groups. Um, one of the theologians in there, his name is Daniel Zacharias. He's a Native American theologian that specifically commentates on the book of Matthew and the Beatitudes. And there was a quote in there that I found super interesting that relates exactly what we're talking about today in groups. He says, The Beatitudes spoken by Christ make it clear that following His ways marks out a community that is fundamentally at odds with the Roman society, that is driven by the ideals of empire. We have to think of Jesus as somebody that lived in a time of oppression. Jesus was somebody who also hungered and thirsted for righteousness. He also knew that the people he was talking to hungered and thirsted for the same thing. They were a people that were deeply connected to their ancestors, as we see in Matthew 1. The genealogies throughout Scripture show that um, lineage is very important to them. They're also very, very connected to the land. They lived in the promised land. They were exiled from the land and God's promise that He would restore their land. We also know that these people were connected to their ancient rituals and heritage outlined in the Mosaic Law. They lived by this law for generations. This is the context that Jesus is speaking into. He also knew that the Roman Empire didn't care about any of that, and they were the ones in charge. He was speaking to a people that were hungry to see their world made right. Today, so many of us want the same thing. We're hungry to be made right with God and live righteously by God. We're hungry for biblical justice. We're hungry to see God step into our society, restore creation and restore our relationships and invite us into that work. Ultimately, biblical justice and righteousness pushes us into shalom. Shalom is this uh, Jewish concept that is uh, not directly translated over into English, but it basically means to see the world made right. Everything is as it should be. Nothing is out of place. Peace, justice, righteousness are small bricks in this huge wall of shalom. Blessed are those who are hungry to see the world made right. Blessed are those who are hungry to be made right with their neighbors. Blessed are those who are hungry to be made right with God. What are you hungry for? What burdens your heart to see made right? Jesus says that those who Hunger and thirst for righteousness will be filled. But he also says that he is the bread of life. Those who seek him will find him. Those who hunger will be filled.